So Hundred Thieves had a bit of a losing streak during the split. Um, what were you guys struggling with then, and what did you take out of it? The losing streak. Um, I think when we were losing a lot of games, we just weren't really playing together that well. We kind of all had different ideas on how we wanted to play the game. And I think everyone's pretty respectful as far as not being like super uh, like overly aggressive with feedback. And so what can happen sometimes with that dynamic is that, you know, it's the case where if someone doesn't agree with someone else's idea, they're not going to be like, dude, you fucking suck. Why are you doing that? It'll be more like, okay, but then not really like going along with it. It's just kind of trying to keep the peace more than trying to resolve issues. And so I think that was kind of something we had to work through. And I think like after our fourth loss in a row, maybe fifth loss in a row or something, I think I think we only lost four in a row. We kind of had a talk. We like had an O2 week and we were just like, okay guys, what's up? Like, obviously we're not playing well. We just need to have like a better dialogue for what's going on. Like talk to each other, what things are you unhappy with? Uh, who do you have issues with? Just get it all out there. And then after that, I think it was easier for us to move forward because uh, you never really want to hold on to things that's bothering you. It's way better to just, like, say you have a huge issue with how someone's playing. It's better to be like, dude, I don't like that you're doing this. And then you can talk about it and work through it rather than being like, okay, like, I'm not going to be toxic. I'm not going to say anything mean about my teammates because that's just, like, not a realistic thing to do. Also looking back at the best of one change, do you think the competitive side has been kind of living up to where it needs to be though? Or does it feel does it feel a little volatile, more volatile, and is that too much of a problem? Hmm. I haven't noticed best of one being too big of an like influence on how the games go. Uh, and there hasn't been a lot of games that's just swung really hard by like some cheesy thing happening. There can be, uh, you know, last week or yesterday, C9 versus Liquid. C9 started like 4-0 on their Olaf or something. Just the most nightmare early game for Liquid. But they still managed to win. So I think that in any given game, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for the better team to make the right decision and a worse team to make more mistakes. So I think that in any given game, the, the better team is usually going to come out ahead. Obviously, there's going to be some variance. You know, someone might get a bad read on the meta. Someone might just have a really bad week. But overall, I don't think best of one is like gonna hurt the standings too much i think in best of three would be pretty similar when's the last time you were in nalcs playoffs and, and what are you gonna do now that you're back in them last time i was in playoffs uh it must have been summer 2016 i think that was the one where we lost in the finals um so it's been a while it's been about a year year and a half maybe um i don't know I've, I've usually not gotten too nervous around playoffs for some reason to me it just kind of feels like more games so i think we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing i'm hoping that the first place finish doesn't like make us get too comfortable because obviously we still have a lot to work on we're still gonna need to keep getting better for playoffs so i hope we don't slow down like take our foot off the accelerator or anything and I'm just going to you know, keep doing my best to improve as a team, try to do my best to keep everyone focused as much as I can, and hopefully we have a good showing. Who do you think is a dark horse in the playoffs competition? Hmm. I think that TSM has actually been looking really strong the past couple of weeks, especially this week. And if they didn't have such a rough early split i think that tsm could definitely be a contender for like first or second so i think they're looking really good but honestly all the teams in playoffs seem super strong uh, cloud nine's kind of having a dip the second half of the split but from what i know about them they always bounce back if they do badly so i think they'll be really strong for playoffs and uh i don't know i, I can't really put my finger on any team that is underperforming i think echo fox uh, has been having like a bit of turbulence lately. They like brought in two new players this week for reasons kind of unknown to the public. Not sure if they just wanted more practice, knowing that they're locked in for playoffs or uh, what it was. But I think all the teams look really strong, and we're just gonna have to get as good as we can. 
do you think Cloud9 is struggling with? Hmm. I'm not really sure what Cloud9 is struggling with. It seems like uh, some games, they just have pretty poor drafts. I think they've lost a few games just because they didn't have a great read on the meta and they just gave up a ton of OP champions to the other team. And then they just kind of lose from off that. But um, maybe the tracker change hurt them because I know Sven Skarin is like a very good control-oriented jungler, and they're a team that plays with information really well. Like I think they've got good macro, so maybe the loss of extra information hurts them. Mm -hmm. I I'm not sure for, I can't say for sure, but uh, definitely seems like they've been struggling a bit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Oh, wait, 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 last thing. How does this picture make you feel? Uh, Surprised, but not really. Do you commend his, his cosplay talent? Uh, you know, Sneaky's my friend, and I'm going to respect him. And I'm going to support him with whatever he decides to do. And <laughs> I'm going to try to not judge him too much. For more league interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.